the man WWE quietly erased forever. And it was not just Chris Benoit that WWE virtually erased from the history books. Mel Phillips was another name that WWE decided to act like never existed and was never part of their company. Now the topics in this video are graphic in nature, so a trigger warning is in place. But for those unaware who Mel Phillips was, he used to work in the WWE in the 80s and 90s as a ring announcer. Phillips was exposed as a pedophile and it's claimed that he often took advantage of male minors and often these minors were from broken homes. Tom Cole, who worked for WWE as a ring attendant in the 80s and 90s, went public with allegations of a disturbing and graphic nature. It is believed that Phillips was fired directly by Vince McMahon, yet shockingly, Phillips was brought back with a caveat that he had to stay away from minors. In March of 1992, McMahon stated to New York Post columnist Phil Mushnick that he had previously fired Phillips over his suspicion that Phillips' relationship with minors was peculiar and unnatural. It is claimed that Phillips would videotape his own sexual activities with minors for his own pleasure, and in a 2009 interview with Cole, Cole recalled how Phillips had a black book with a list of kids from all over the US. Mel had a black book with names of kids from all over the country that he would call up if he would be in a specified town, and he would ask these kids if he wanted to go to the shows. You'd met kids from every state. I'd go from New York to Philly, and he'd have young kids waiting for him, boys at the show, and he'd get five, six, seven kids. They'd go to Boston and it would be the same thing and maybe one or two of those kids would come with us or they'd drive with us. It was the same motif he had with me. He'd call my parents. They were always kids from broken homes. Once in a blue moon, you'd hear like a kid who came from a so-called stable environment. Mostly it was kids with a broken home with no father. Just a mother, drunk mother, alcoholic, drug addict, whatever. That's pretty much the type of kid that Mel was geared towards. It's widely believed that Phillips had a foot fetish and this would often result in him playing with the kid's feet. Cole stated during an interview with Wrestling Perspective that when he got older, Phillips began to call less. When he started getting older, he started calling less. Once that happened, he started calling less, but I still went to the shows at Madison Square Garden. I'd just show up, but he was trying to get rid of you. He liked the younger kids who couldn't give him a problem about it or didn't realize that there was something wrong with it. WWE over time blacklisted Phillips entirely, and the whereabouts of Phillips are currently publicly unknown. Tragically, in 2021, Cole took his own life. He was 50 years old, and his brother took to Twitter to announce his passing, as well as take aim at WWE. My brother Tom committed suicide a couple of hours ago. Vince McMahon and his wife Linda let child molesters into their companies years ago and did everything possible to cover up what they did to my brother. I hope you can go to sleep good at night, Vince. Our family suffers. Thank you. But there you have it, the man that WWE quietly erased forever. Be sure to leave your comments down below, and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.